Now we know how a murder suspect knew the two women police said he killed in a gas station parking lot. I'm James Brown. I'm Cheryl McHenry. The victim's family and friends say the suspect was a close friend of the victim. New Center 7's Mike Campbell joins us live with more on these latest revelations. Mike? Well, James, besides the brutal nature of the shooting that took two women's life here at this Shell station, another factor that has caught the attention of the public on this case is the fact that the two women actually sat lifeless in their car for more than three hours before anyone called investigators. And that has made their family and friends' agony even worse. We did know the person who did it. We had actually been talking to him and hanging out with him a lot. Antonia Reynolds is in shock. Her two best friends are dead. I just want to know why, because he's, from what I know, not that kind of person. It was just crazy to me that the one person that she continuously vouched for and said that she wished that more men were like um, is the one that took her out. Ebony Storhalder, along with Antonio Reynolds, were part of a four-person friend group with the two victims. The women were together as much as possible, but not Saturday night and into Sunday morning. This time, 38-year-old Felicia Reynolds, known as Fee, and 44-year-old Michaela Daniels, often called Kyla, went out and were eventually with 32-year-old Deontay Holden. Police got a call at 5 a.m. Sunday and discovered the two women brutally shot in their vehicle at the gas pumps here. I just broke down and I was asking what happened. And What's your heart doing? I just cried. I just called her name. I just cried. The friends told me their hearts are breaking for the loss of their friends in what police call an especially brutal murder. Holden is accused of shooting them as he stepped out of the vehicle's back seat and then walking away. The survivors' hearts are also angry about the delayed emergency response. About the fact that they got shot and nobody reported it for three hours. That bothers me. That bothers me a lot. Everybody's looking, but nobody's calling. Is that disturbing to you? Yeah. I mean, it hurts. Yeah. And back live now, prosecutors have not yet approved charges against Holden for what happened here, but we can tell you he's booked in the Montgomery County Jail on suspicion of murder and tampering with evidence, and that is because police say he met another friend here hours after the shooting, possibly in an attempt to try to erase evidence. Reporting live in Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7.